All right, YouTube, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Week 14, Monday Night Football. We actually have two Monday Night Football games to jump into this week. Each game will be its own video here on the channel. So in this video, we're diving into the Giants taking on the Packers. I have a spread pick lean as well as two player props that I'm locking in in today's game. Guys, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button as well. You guys have been absolutely running it up as of late, and I cannot say thank you enough. Seriously, guys hit that subscribe button hit that like button act like it's your bookie and smash it but uh, let's go ahead and jump into this game so the Giants have won two straight games they're sitting at home six and a half point dogs the total sitting at 36 and a half I've seen 37 on some sports books as well but at the time of recording consensus seems to be 36 and a half Giants are four and eight this season four seven and one against the spread um, and two and three at home Green Bay sitting at six and six on the year but it's important to note that they've won four of their last five games they've won three straight games an impressive 27 and 19 win against Kansas City last week right um seven and five against the spread on the season but and this is a big but to me uh they're two and four playing away from um Lambeau like this is a uh this is a uh, Green Bay team that yes they're on fire right now but of those four wins that they've had in the last five games three of those wins have come at home they did get the Thanksgiving win against Detroit um on the road so I'll give them credit there but I do want to note that you know laying six and a half points on the road as a team that struggled as a road team this season seems a little bit too much for me so there is my first lean in this spot Giants plus six and a half now I don't know if this makes its way into the final plays uh keep an eye on the pinned comment guys that's where it'll uh you know dictate or show you guys exactly what I'm rolling with as final plays for this game if you do want to fade those picks but this may stay as a lean because at the end of the day even if I think it's too many points to be laying as Green Bay right it's still the Giants we're betting on here. And even though they've won two straight games, we can give them credit for that. They beat Washington. Washington, not all that great of a ball club. New England, one of the worst teams in the league. Like, I get that maybe they're playing better, um, but their floor is pretty bad. So to play better than their floor isn't all that impressive, right? So uh, this is a spot in which I just think it's too many points. The number seems too much to lay. So by default, I do lean towards New York. And it's a primetime game. We could see, you know, not many points being scored. Having almost a touchdown um, and an extra point in your back pocket there with that plus six and a half seems like it could be a game changer so again the reason this may not make its way make its way into being a final play is the fact that we are still betting on the Giants and I don't know how uh, I don't know if my cojones um, are of a size to be able to bet on the Giants here for sure like it's still risky going up against a hot team even if the numbers are telling us it'll be a close game like you're going up against a hot team um, and you're a bad team for you know all intents and purposes so that's our lean in the game but like I said we do have two player props that I really want to jump into in today's video. Before we do that, guys, I got to go ahead and shout out Sleeper. Guys, if you're not on Sleeper yet, literally no better time to do so than right now. They're doing a $1 million giveaway, and it's super easy to enter. All you have to do is go over to Sleeper and start entering some of these player prop slips. You can enter 5 bucks and get an entry token, um, and then on the 26th, they're going to be doing a giveaway there. Again, a chance for a $1 million, and they've upped the ante for their deposit match if you use the link in the pin comment. They'll now match your first deposit up to five hundred bucks which is absolutely absurd if you put in 500 bucks they will literally match it and you'll have a new account balance of a thousand you can obviously do any increment of money underneath that as well and for the other sunday night or monday night football game they do have a free square for new users and first time depositors tyree kill over 0.5 receiving yards so literally no better time to check out sleeper guys that link again is in the pinned comment go ahead and check it out now let's go ahead and get into the player props here like i said i got a couple that i do like we're gonna jump into outlier guys um first one up is gonna be saquon barkley over 16 and a half for his longest rush now he's hit this in seven of nine games a season he's hit it in five straight games which obviously you like to see he's averaging 31.7 yards after contact this season now obviously it's a little bit more in like the the uh, maybe low 20s range but he did have a huge um yards after contact game against the jets a few weeks back so it kind of um sways it but what i like to see is the fact that you know when you're looking at a team like Green Bay their defense has started to play um you know a little bit better and I can give them credit for that but they are really bad rush defense here rushing yards on the season they've allowed the third most rushing yards in the entire league and Saquon Barkley is a guy that is explosive that can obviously uh you know put the foot on the gas and run for a 20 plus yard rush right last time he played them last season he ran uh, his longest rush was 40 yards you guys know that we've kind of carved out a niche here and being able to spot these longest receptions longest pass 
pass completion, longest rush. We've had a really good track record this season, so I like what I see here from Barkley to give us at least a 17-yard run. Now, that's uh, minus 110 over on DraftKings, but really on any sportsbook you're looking at, it's going to be something like that. Uh, our next player prop is going to be Wandell Robinson here, guys. His over in receptions, over two and a half. Yes, you're paying a little bit of juice, um, but a three and a half, I don't totally love it, but I don't hate it, but that's a lot of value there, plus 142. So either one I like, but obviously we're going to kind of keep it, uh, I guess, relatively conservative and look at that for minus 158 over on FanDuel. He's hit this in seven of 10 games in three of his last four and what I like to see is his targets. Four and five targets in the last couple weeks here. He is the slot receiver. Green Bay allowing four receptions per game to slot receivers right there, which obviously that's good to see. He plays mostly out of the slot here. Um, and one thing I wanted to look at here, snap counts. He's been playing plenty. So if we scroll down and look at the wide receiver snap counts uh, for these, uh, for the, the, um, New York Giants here. You can see Robinson 67 and 77 snaps played in the last two weeks. No other receiver is even touching that number. And then even the team targets, it's really been a two man target share. Um, lately, right? So you have Darius Slayton, he's gotten five and three. That's great. If you go down to Wandell Robinson, four and five, he's been um, out-targeted by nobody on the team over the last few weeks. And there's no Darren Waller either. That, that's a huge target. He was getting the second most targets on the team, obviously on the IR now. So I like Wandell Robinson to get a few targets here um, and reel in three catches. Again, this is a team um, that, you know, isn't going to take those deep shots. I don't think that they trust DeVito all that much to do it. Check downs, guys over the middle, slot receiver receivers this could be a good type of spot for him there guys and if you do want access to the tool i was just using you can check out outlier i have a seven day free trial link in the pinned comment really really cool tool if you've been around long enough you know i've been using outlier for you know over a year at this point because it is that cool and that good of a tool so go check it out that link is in the pinned comment but to recap i have a lean on the giants plus six and a half not sure if that makes its way into the final plays because it is the Giants at the end of the day. But the two player props that we are locking in, Saquon Barkley, longest rush over 16 and a half yards, and Wandale Robinson over two and a half receptions. We may sprinkle, keep an eye on the pin com, we may sprinkle on over three and a half receptions for plus 142. We shall see. But guys, that's going to conclude today's video. Make sure to go check out the other Monday Night Football video as well if you're interested in that. We'll catch you guys in the next one, all right? Peace out.